Resistance forces hit an advent train in this area pretty hard, and the aliens still haven't managed to get it moving again. There should be plenty of valuable tech on board that thing. So we're Especially if we get some, like, it's hilarious that I actually care more about the supplies from this mission than the alien alloys in Illyrium, which are usually the big payoffs. One five coordinates of the advent train are locked in. <laughs> Eliminate all hostiles. If we're I going got to this one quiet. Our resistance then, we'll have to limit the squad size to three of our best units. Let's hope they can get the job done without additional support. All right, so we're just trying to get to this train. Volk says I am told. See what we got, Reaper. I have sight beyond vision. Confirmed. Judy West, resistance hero. That's affirmative. Moving to designated position. All right, so we've got. Overwatch. A turret which we can probably avoid. There's going to be a question of what I'm really curious to see is the first pod, where we get a sense of. Uh, the time for hiding is over. Oh, please don't actually be revealed. The invaders send a patrol. All right, so this is a pretty handleable pod. We could even potentially get closer. I will go. Launch a claymore. Take do substantial damage to this pod and drop the uh, turret through the roof. On my way. Understood. Moving out. We've also got a hack. We've got a rocket launcher. We've got a lot of tools. Orders confirmed on the move. Got it covered. Got it covered. On Overwatch. You cannot run. Oh, we've also got a mech. Okay, so the pods are not that much smaller. Oh god, and this is real risky for her. So. Let's pull back a ways. I am trusting you. Um, so yeah, let's try and move around. Okay, so we've got a ladder up here. Let's try and move up that ladder as opposed to this ladder. And keep the Reaper out front to scout. Location. We don't have a time limit on this one, so we can take it nice Force and easy, out. given our tiny squad size and limited resources. On my way. I do like that uh, we got the surgical mission Roger. where we could on only bring in three elite Diagon. troops, but we also we, we just had a resistance Roger. member here to help. And I hope there are not too many pods, because if they look like this... fighting these guys away from the turrets. That's kind of helpful. We don't have a sniper to cheese the turrets this time. Go, go, go. We definitely don't need to push forward. Could pull you over to here. Moving to designated coordinates. Put you behind this tree. 
Rolling out. As you order, Commander. My turn on march. So move forward with the Reaper first. Okay, so that's still in sight range of the turret. My life is in your hands. We we'll want to make sure that there is no other pods that are gonna engage on us if we attack this one. strong on the plan of claymoring these guys. Oh my god, please do not walk up to our Reaper. Alright, so that's a lot closer than I'd like, but... This is bad enough, a bad enough pod that I'm okay spending a slightly excessive amount of resources on it. Soon our prey will fall. Let's see. So do we want to hit it with a plasma grenade or just open up on it with the reaper? Could also hit it with a rocket. So plasma grenade, if we use it, means we can't use a frost bomb. We could also just frost bomb the whole group, assume there won't be too many pods. I kind of like that. Like, we're not going to be facing that many pods this mission, hopefully. So if we just fro spend a frost bomb on this, this that leaves us with more explosives to uh, knock these turrets through the floor. Take this! And this means that we can kill a bunch of them easily by keeping them stuck out in no cover, and if you need to survive, we've got a whole nother turn to kill. They're on to us! Alright. And then you can kill the Claymore. Just get some good shred on everyone. And then, let's see. So we don't really even need to do, uh anything else fancy this turn. We can just shoot at them, deal as much damage as possible, and then clean them out doable. next turn. So I like this. Get good best damage on the mech. Affirmative. Moving out. And then, actually, if we can kill the priest while it's frozen, it'll prevent stasis. This is spreading out damage, but they're all frozen, so it doesn't matter. So we don't want to use our Reaper if we can avoid it. So can we just get one kill with each of the other three pretty casually? So 100%. And then you've got... Reload. 100, 98, 95. And Hero the Resistance has 194, 91. Alright. Taken care of. You've got 98. Take it. Impressed yet? 
ability point. Nice. And then 96. And then after this turn, we can do a uh, full turn of uh, reloads How and overwatches. I will reposition. Not great loot. I really want more Illyrium cores right now. Alright, and you've got one action left, Gotta Overwatch. Go. And then everyone else can reload and overwatch next turn. Let's load. do this. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Overwatch. Reload. Overwatch. Reload. I loaded these cartridges myself. Right. So then we've got explosives to deal with the turrets with minimal risk. We can decide whether we want to spend one or both of them. Actually kind of like doing a little more uh, repair Marco, scouting uh, before we do use any more explosives. Just to... I hear another mech. See exact... Oh, oh see exactly my. this. You know, we just don't want to be fighting this guy without any shred. On the other hand, I'd just like to note if we can um, get close enough without engaging these guys, we can go frost bomb, remote start, clean up the mess, and everything will be very good for us. So fortunately we're pretty far away, so we should... How far up do we start... Okay. okay, so here we activate. So we basically can safely move up to here. Let's do this! And let's just keep in mind no rush, move forward slowly, not make Order's mistakes. Confirmed. On the move. Whatever you say! Covering now. You can never escape my sight. All right, so we we are in some amount of risk there of two pods at once. Oh, this is not explosive. That's sad. Man, yeah, this mission does not go as easy on you as I kind of assumed it would. I go where I, I know where you are. All right. Yeah, these are both pretty nasty pods. I'm not sure we can actually beat both of these unless we can get off a good remote start on one of them. So let's say we assume these are the only two pods on the map, which is not necessarily true, but I definitely like it to be true. If that's the case, I'd much rather want to fight from this or from, uh, go up north here and fight from this side, then try and engage from the side we're currently on. So let's pull back up to here. Moving as ordered. And we can still see all of these guys moving around Fog of War because Reaper spotting is amazing. But then let's pull as far back towards the edge of the map as we can. I'm going! Let's move already! Moving on target location. On Overwatch. Got it covered! On Overwatch! Alright, so these guys aren't moving right now, so let's go ahead and uh, scout ahead this I'm way at your and check for a third pod on the map. 
since we've got full vision on these two. Oh wow, there's a lot more map over here as well. I'm on the move. Man, this is... I can't believe they want you to do this with three people. This is a crazy mission. I mean, fortunately, we've got Judy, so uh, we've got a full squad of four handling problems. You can hear the Andromedon stomping around in the distance. And the uh, Spectre ghosting around. Let's go ahead and scout around this hands. side. Just because if there's a third pod, I'd really like to know about it now. No problem, boss. Finally. Already there. So I would like to try and uh, scout out some more um, remote start positions, because finding a good one of those would be one of the best ways for us to potentially uh, win this one. Alright, so... Go ahead and pull our Reaper over this way, position. just to try and verify that we're not blundering into anything horrible if, as we rotate. I'm going! Moving to designated coordinates. Man, this is a high-tension mission. Oh, we activated. Oh, that's disappointing. That is not good. Oh, this is gonna be a bad start. That is a long-range activation in an awkward position. They are so far away. Oh my god, and even used up your shot. Alright. So let's take a moment to consider evacuation. <laughs> So we really want to save our frost bomb for that other pod. These guys are so far away. So if you move up to here, throw a mimic beacon. Please tell me our Mimic Beacon isn't on the person he needs to reload. Okay, good. Man, that is such an awkward long-range activation. Okay, so if we throw a Mimic Beacon, we pull the two mutons around the corner or upstairs. 
We will need to shred their armor somewhat. What armor shred do we have left? Plasma grenade and a rocket. So we can use one, but we definitely can't use both. So we need to get the most out of it. So we can at least take a turn, throw down Mimic Beacon, and if things are totally unacceptable after that. Seems doable. Back in! We can always... Let's move already. Evac that turn. Alright, and I'm sorry, Judy, but we're gonna put you out in a flanked position for as uh, Mimic Beacon number two, if it comes to that. Cool. Perfect. We can't tread both of them. Just one of ours. All right. Nothing near a remote start. So the goal is definitely kill both mutons. Hope the specter does some spectry bullshit. Um, would really prefer not to use both of our explosives if we can avoid it, because we need to deal with this pod. Do we have a flashbang? Okay. So if we knocked out your cover... This would be an 83, so you could probably kill this following up a uh, plasma grenade. Honestly, you could probably kill this following up a plasma grenade. So you effectively have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 health. Yeah, so it's not, not quite guaranteed. Yeah, it's definitely better to use that. And then... What's our plan for the other one? Um, Might be suppress? Start off by pulling you into better Let's cover. Do this. Knocking up this Boom. guy. And then Judy. No chance to activate this pod. Don't think so. Heading there now. So you're gonna need to roll well on this one. Perfect. Target disabled. So we could try and make the Andromedon tomorrow's problem. And use a rocket here? I mean that's really short sighted. What are you going to do? Bring in the pain! <sighs> oh, 
Oh man, this is still only like a 60%. Jeez, that's bad. They're shifting their attack! Okay, so that's annoying, but we can live with it. We no. just lost one! I'm not, not, no. The Mutone is the much scarier. Well, I mean, I guess I'm used to being able to have enough people to deal with those, which is not necessarily the case. I wonder if they did a bunch of custom stuff for every version on that, or if that's just like a, uh... Oh, Overwatch, that's good for us, probably. What are your odds on hitting him? 91? 50% to reveal? Yeah, I wonder if they did a custom, any custom stuff for this, or if it's just a new texture layered over um, whatever your, uh, whatever the model is. Okay, so that's the thing. So, I don't love this chance to reveal. Um, actually, yeah, let's move her into better position before we do this. I will go. I'll give us an extra 5% too. Let's hope we don't reveal, but we need to get rid of it. Do we have ammunition available? Oh, like 51. Alright, so then we need to deal with this fellow. So let's check our numbers real quick. So... This guy can potentially do some nasty things. So this guy has quite a bit of health. It's pretty unlikely we can kill him this turn. I would assume that hitting him with a frost bomb disables it, but at this point there's no way we're dealing with that second pod without a frost bomb. So my inclination is just to run up here and try and gun him down. Man, we're getting towards the point where it's like maybe we should have just evac'd. Here I come. Moving out. It's possible this would kill it. Oh, come on. They're trying to flank us. Oh, nice. It has a bolt caster. So let's try and cover some ground to try and find Headed the specter while dealing with its shadow. We could re-enter Shadow to kill this. Scope. Anyone have a stock? Nah, let's just... Re-enter Concealment. Kill this guy. Take the 50-50 to reveal. Get our feet wet. And hope this gets Jens back up. I am 
I am out of ammo. Revealed again. Sad day. The shadows favor. Alright, and that did give Yen's back up. So let's go ahead and just Fire scout around me. for shadows a little bit. It's very reminiscent of our time Whatever doing this say. against the assassin. Come get some! Scanning! Alright, so we've still got that over there. It's interesting that she can lose sight of it despite her ability. I must reload. So now I'm just living in fear for a little bit. I assume vanishing just means it's hiding, not that it disappeared from the map. Reloaded. Got it covered. Scanning. Well, this is confusing. All right, so last pod, we... There we go. No place for you to go Perfect. now. Perfect. I can handle that. So since it, you're the one at bound, you get the honor of finishing it off. Not too shabby. My turn on watch. Affirmative. Covering now. Scanning. All right. So, we've dealt with everything but the scariest pot of them all, which is not the perfect position to be in. And we're com we're do we? We've got shred on Wildman's attack is going to be our best option. Um, unfortunately, he's going to have to launch a frost bomb to turn we engage. So, it's not ideal. Let's do this. And it's not even clear we can get a good engage on these guys without the Reaper. It's going to be a nasty fight, but I think it's likely this is the last pod left on the map, and we haven't taken any casualties yet, so why quit when we're ahead? Let's rock! Got it covered! Affirmative. Covering now. On overwatch. I am Alright, so we've got four shots. We can get use a frost bomb to take some time off of it. We can use a hack to shut down the suit if we can get through these four points of armor. So previously this was about as far as we could move up. So it's quite likely if we move up to these positions we'll reveal. So we need to be extremely careful. No problem, boss. We do have some heals and some stabilizers. We're totally out of rockets. A remote start would be really good if we could get one, but the, we haven't really seen any opportunities. 10 4. On Overwatch. Overwatch! I'll watch closely. Huh? Oh, so they're actually moving a little bit. Not much. We could get them over to this forklift. That'd be perfect. Do we want to try and, like, rotate around the entire map without being seen? It's kind of tempting. Like, if we just pull all the way this way... Yeah, this high ground is being more of a barrier than an upside for us. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And we should move as though there might be another pod, because there might be, but I'm really hoping there isn't. Uh... Copy that. Yeah, I think remote start is our best chance for actually dealing with this pod. Got it covered. No one will cross. I'm on it. I don't think we're alone out here. If we can pull them into uh, the explosion. All right. 
so still staying in basically the same spot. Heading out. I can handle that. Yeah, I'd say uh, surgical is a reasonable description of this mission. I'm going to be very wary of this sit rep in the future. Like, I assumed that, given our small size, it would look more like the, uh... Those missions where, um, you get ambushed. Closing on target position now. And you're running into, like, pods of one advent trooper. But they are not pulling punches for this. Watching comes naturally. Hey, you hear anything? <sighs> and watch as we run into another pod and die to it. We're really gambling pretty heavily on this being the last on the map. Confirmed. So I'm glad that it's continuing to show us signs from those guys. That helps imply to me that they're the last group, that it keeps telling us where they are. Um, if we hear sound from a different direction, we'll know to be very scared. That's the equipment we're after. We'll have oh to do god, it pulled my camera and I had a moment of intense panic. Let's do this! Also, these guys okay. could just decide to... Cool. Patrol into us at any point. Whatever you say. Look, I know that you're trying to impress XCOM and all, but that was a little over for me. Come get some. They move against us. Man, this map is really unnecessarily huge. out of things to say given Quiet. how long this something? is taking. Watch as we spend a hundred hours setting this up and then still lose horribly because we do not have anything left to fight this bot. <laughs> I guess we're just hoping that we can launch on it. Frost Bombs. Overwatch. Overwatch. They've played themselves. Man, I really hope that's how this goes. Alright, let, let's start being a little more aggressive just to not waste everyone's time. Okay, so we can't move up too much further than that safely. But we are trying to pull around more to the side here. Here I come! Position confirmed. Whatever you say! Affirmative, covering now! My turn on watch. Come get some! On overwatch. Fresh targets. <sighs> right, 
this is a little Moving risky. To designated position. But we wanna like oh yeah, get into this behind this building if possible. Understood. Moving out. Oof. Rolling out. Yeah, we're just on the. If there's another pot, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So, on the move. Take a few more bold yellow moves and stuff just to get into position Moving before ahead. this mission ends up taking a hundred hours. Man, I'm really worried that we just do not have what it takes to kill this Andromedon. Moving. So we're trying to pull them into that. Seems doable. No time to spare. This would be so much easier if we still had a ranger in cover. On the other hand, this would be taking a lot longer if we had a uh, full six people. It. Got it covered. Movement, it's close. It's not really that close. On the move. It's a lot of work for the chance at a remote start, but hopefully it's worth it. Quiet. Did you hear something? Wait one sec. Okay, I'm actually, uh, this is taking long enough that I am going to take a uh, quick five minute break here, and then we will go ahead and finish this mission off after that. So, I will go ahead and pause here, and be back. All right, and we are back, and through uh, the magic of editing, hopefully uh, for you folks watching on YouTube, that was zero seconds. I, uh, we'll probably just uh, splice this one up as opposed to trying to split the mission into two different videos. I'm going. So just going to be pushing along this edge of the map and then trying to engage them along this line where we can pull them into uh, the explosive tractor and hopefully make that work out. I'll watch closely. Let's move already! And Moving everyone's going to be exhausted Stand. after this million turn mission. Hey, you hear anything? Affirmative. Hopefully this doesn't engage them. This is looks like about six tiles short. So we've got some room to maneuver. Can't imagine there would be anything left over here. We're taking some shortcuts that are a little risky, but covering ground. Gotta get in on these guys eventually. On 
Overwatch. Come get some. You hear that? Alright, so how much further do we want to engage before we... How much further do we want to push before we start moving in to engage? We want to pull them from basically this angle, so we do want to get, like... Basically moving up onto this tree wants to be the move where we pull them. It's kind of the goal. No problem, boss. No problem, Bob. I can get there. And the goal is either frost bomb them from out of line of sight. Here I come. So we could just make a run down to the center of this car at some point to see what you try and use the car to block vision. And on the move. Try and get a good frost bomb in on them. Come get some. Got it covered. Got movement here. So this tree is totally possible. So we're getting close to the point where we could in pull them at any time. So let's just start with this and see. Tired of waiting this. around. All right, so we're just a like a tile short of hitting all of them here. That's really close. Um. So we. Moving him one tile to either side might ruin everything. Alright, let's just take a turn of overwatching. I'm on it! Moving to overwatch. Overwatch! What was that? One Let's step here. This. Oh my god. That one tile did indeed pull them. Okay. And... Not a great activation. I was really hoping to either pull them all onto the lift or... Uh, get all three of them frost bombed. So can we hit two with a frost bomb? That would make life a lot easier. It looks like the answer is yes, so that's really good. So this is not an ideal start, but it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Because we can um, have... Alright, let's... Start here just so that we know 100% that's working. Perfect. Okay, and then we can run up with the Reaper and get remote start on the vehicle that the Viper is next to. Which, oh, Heading not to who I meant to send there. Fortunately, doesn't matter that much. Um... And then get the remote start on that vehicle to uh, deal with that Viper. Always observe your surroundings. So we get a one shot there. And then we just get as much damage in as we can on these two. Oh, and we get a flanking shot here. Quite a bit of range, I can but. It. Nice. And then just take a freebie to finish it off. Cool. Enemy destroyed. So despite not the activation we were hoping for, that ended up actually being a pretty solid start to this.
Alright, so job one. If we can get Let's some shred already. on this guy, is the single most important thing. So this is not ideal. Um, but we're going to have to take some shots. Right, cool. Deflection! So we can't get her over to a point where it counts as, uh... Light cover. You need to reload. Yeah, this guy's gonna get a shot on us. We're just gonna have to... Oh, we should have done that first. Well, we get a little more damage this way. Rolling. This guy's going to be tough to wear down. We are grouping up a little bit. For him to, uh... Use they a plasma the bomb on us. Let's just go ahead and get to the high ground here. But hopefully this is the last enemy on the map. Okay. So that is an interesting tactic. Here I come. So that's one big wound on our team, but that actually puts us in a really good position to finish this guy off. For the last few points of armor. Uh fin have Judy finish off the outer shell. And then we have Haywire Protocol here. Try not to break this one. And nice, we have 80% on the uh, hack. So that uh, resistance order we've got of 20% extra hacking is definitely saving us there. Let's take it. I'm in. All right, then that should be enough to just finish it off next turn. And hopefully that'll be mission over. All right, so it's stunned, and then hopefully just everyone shoot it will be uh, sufficient to clear this Cover one out. Me, I'm reloading. So get some more hollow targeting on there first. And then we'll have the rookie shoot, and if that misses, it can't miss. So hopefully this will be a good one. Hostile neutralized. Status confirmed. Oh, thank All God. So that was... The area is confirmed. I am Mission really happy with how that turned out, given the uh, sit rep and the way that whole thing went, the long-range activation. One wound on one soldier isn't great, but so much better than we could have expected from bringing Adventist three people into a basically a full difficulty mission, which is kind of insane. Exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train Advent forces. Oof. Another success beyond all expectations. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Tygen. Alright, well, we'll figure out what we want to do with you later. Tons of supplies. Andromedon Autopsy, which gives us mines. Shaken. Yeah, I'd believe that. It was a rough day. Um, so with those supplies, well, there are a number of things we want. I'm actually going to immediately start shadow building a Shadow Chamber, chamber because that's the big thing that we have been really 
we, we had to cancel that for reasons that aren't great. How many wounded? We have five wounded. Yeah, we definitely want to keep the engineer in the infirmary. I don't really care about this resistance when taking less time, so you're going to get the shadow chamber down faster. All right, only one day until assassins' weapons, four days until supply drop. So we're not going to do another mission if it comes up, but we'll just get through the... Commander, one of our people was taken captive during the most recent operation. Uh, we're doing everything we can you to know, locate I don't them like to that, ensure but... their safe return. God, we still don't have the way to get back our captured opponent. Our captured Lebedev brother. So the warlock is getting up there in terms of being an issue. Uh, I don't know that we Your actually. Pathetic attempt at subterfuge has failed, and now one of your soldiers is my captain. I'm I'm sorry, Amy, but we really needed those what supplies. What can I do for you, Commander? Yeah, that will definitely be good for us getting a handful of we uh, weapons and armor for our next mission. Especially if it comes before the supply drop, but hopefully it won't. Um, so do we still have this code we still have left behind going on? Okay, so facility lead. We'd need two sergeants. Which we can just barely manage. So we can actually bond those two and then send them on a mission. So we've got... Roster's still pretty thin, but I'm really hoping we don't get another mission immediately. And we'll have people back soon enough that I'm comfortable sending off uh, this pair. Get your hack on. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Alright, one day on weapons... Nothing in the build queue on proving grounds. What do we want here? Oh, now that we've got supplies. Powered weapon for our suit of heavy armor? That definitely sounds right. Oh my god, that's amazing. Well, we can get those immediately. Do we want a wraith suit? Wouldn't be bad. Use up a lot of supplies. We'll definitely want one of these eventually, though. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. That blaster launcher is a great pull, though. Alright, so supplies, intel, engineer. Of those who want supplies, this contact is pretty rough. I'm not entirely sure what I'll do with this world once the Elders go about their merry way. It might make for an interesting game reserve. Maybe I'll just turn whoever survives loose on each other and see how it goes. Another awesome. important so we've got these weapons available. in our research. Cool, so that also... I. Having these is amazing, and that also will save us some money on uh, weapons technology because that... No, I have no interest in that. Um, it means that there's a lot less pressure on us to eventually do the technology for uh, the various high-level ranger weapons. We can spend that research time elsewhere. And we have so many options at this point. Um... Do you want plasma rifles? I think I'm okay spending a three-day sidetrack on... Uh, well... Battle scanners, better med kits... Nah, let's I just move forward on plasma rifles. We have something We've been putting it off for too long. Not that we have the supplies for them, but... Can 
and some people back from their injuries. Message for you, Commander. How do you think we Hatching did? It through to your quarters now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. Yeah, it's been a pretty and good month. You have outdone yourself. Avatar reduced by three, only one progress. Facility destroyed. There will be no more. Oh, this is not for the Elder's wrath. It's time for you oh. to accept their judgment. And I will deliver it. Alright, so nothing too bad here. He's really becoming a problem. We're, we probably need to start moving up on his tree. Don't like either of these but neither of them are next retaliation strike imminent. So that'll probably be the next mission that we don't do this evening. This seems great. We are researching plasma weapons this month, so I like that. Intel rewards. I think I like where we're at right now. My followers will obey. Yeah, so Avengers let's go pick up the fast course. supplies before we get the slow ones. We'll get these supplies. Got the race suit. How's our roster looking? Alright, we're, we're getting the top section back. We'll have these two back in two days. Okay, so our roster is mostly recovered. In two days, we will have effectively a full roster again. So, I assume something really bad will happen in the next two days. Um, we will need resistance comms, so we don't have enough power for that. So, would it be... 150 to get this, and then 125 to get this. Alright, well let's just pick these up and then call it a night. Okay, and here we go. Here's the next mission. So, we will say goodnight for now, but return to uh, try and stop this horrific terrorist attack against our people. So, thanks everyone for watching, have a very good night, and I will be back with more of this, uh, potentially Tuesday evening, we'll see how things go.